Fraction is based around a story that I wrote or started writing over two years ago. Uh, I envision movies and scenes in my head when listening to music. Um, I've created uh, some of these things. Um, most recent one being the Matsuri video. I pictured all of those shots and all of those clips and all of those scenes uh, and I went out and searched for it to put to how I envisioned it. Um, I did the same a few years ago with a short scene that I did with uh, my friend Lee. Um, did the same with my friend Tristan, uh, doing a short toge shot up, up hills. Um, I even did one for Fraction um, two years ago when I used my friend Matt to record a short clip in my apartment. No matter what I did, I couldn't get this idea out of my head. I, instead of moving on, I continued to build the world and the lore and the characters around this short story that I had written. Everyone that I told the idea and story to just kept asking me why I hadn't done something with it and that I need to do something with it. And I never really could because I didn't have the budget to do something of justice. I didn't want to half-ass it. Um, but I haven't got a lot of money. Uh, I have patience and I have the will. And so I decided I would try and start doing it on Unreal. It started with me wanting to do it as a animated short story and to see if it could build up traction to see where it could go. But as I developed it, I wanted it to be more of a game. I wanted it to be more interactive. I wanted it to... I wanted to be in the world. I, I, I wanted to experience it myself. And I thought a better way of telling the story would be to have it so that it's a interactive story. It's a, it's an interactive game. It's I am absolutely in love with games like Firewatch, uh, The Walking Dead, Life is Strange, um, Beyond Two Souls. I absolutely love these styles of games for their storytelling and how absolutely engrossed you get in the world and you really care for these characters. Um, I want to try and envelop that sort of gameplay with stuff like The Last of Us, Silent Hill, games like that. And so here I am at home with no experience in Unreal. I started a month ago. I'm using things like Xbox Connects to get motion capture data and slowly, painstakingly do it by hand. Um, and it doesn't look the best. I don't have the money to pay for voice actors. I don't have uh, the budget to, you know, do all these things that these high-end gaming companies do. And so I'm trying to get by with what I can. Fractured is set in a world where something, whether it be natural or unnatural, happened to the planet that knocked out all electronics. It's never made clear and it's left up to you to decide with the information that you gather over time on what exactly did happen. I haven't seen a compass since I was a child. I was told that they used to point a certain direction, but that was before I was born. Unlike every other apocalypse game that I think is almost just about ever come out to date, there are no zombies. There is no one dead. There is no one infected. Uh, they just don't exist. It's not a thing. Instead, the world has to deal with the fact that uh, time is broken. Time and the universe has been fractured. And so the game starts off with four main protagonists uh, entering a home to scavenge for leisurely items because the world has settled down by this period. Uh, they don't need survival equipment anymore. They're looking for leisure. They're looking for things to make their life comfortable and they all get caught in one of these fractures these time storms fractures are impossible to see and near impossible to escape 
And so these four are put into a position that ultimately changes their entire lives and the way that it plays out. And I'm hoping that within the next two and a half months, I have a playable demo to demonstrate the concept behind Fractured. So yeah, um, I hope that explains a couple of questions that I've been inboxed a lot about that I just have not said anything about and instead just keep posting updates to something that nobody really knows anything about. Um, but yeah, if anybody is interested in helping or interested in knowing more, um, or as some people have suggested, as much as I dislike it, I, I probably am going to have to go down the route of opening a Patreon. Um, I would be very thankful for it. Uh, it would go a long way. Um, but yeah. Thanks.